Chase. Yeah, bypass that seven. seven. Nate, how was your weekend? Um, about a ten. Yeah, like about a, a three and a half. That's too bad. Hey, Cookie, get the names, please, okay? Yeah. Nate, I need to do a sound check. All right, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Blah 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 blah. blah. Contestants, how you doing? Welcome to our show. Why don't you tell me how many people are going to be playing this game? But All right, we're doing the solo thing. I need a name here. Honey, yeah, what number do you see yeah, in the prompter? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, are you looking for a seven-question tournament link? A dozen. Gotcha. 30 seconds. Get out oh, God. I, am I boring you? Boy, I wouldn't want to do that. Hey, we better start. Somebody's in a real hurry. Okay. Pick the category is spam, 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 spam. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, hang tight, put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. The am in spam is from the word ham. Where is the It's all your spam is spiced ham. Not to be confused with spork, the uh, spork spoon thing you get at KFC. All right, come on, hit me. Look to do. It's question number two. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Vikings and VJs. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, let's say MTV decided to do some broadcast from an old castle in Europe, and the VJs are partying all over the fortress. If the castle were suddenly stormed by a band of Vikings with spears, bows, and arrows, the VJs who would be killed first would probably be located where? In the dungeon, in the keep, on the battlement, or in the bailey? And here's the right answer. On the battlement, the protective border on top of the walls. Mom always said, stay off the battlement in case of a Viking attack. How about it? Hit me with your lay, your lay, your lay, your lay, question three. The category, Shakespearean drink orders. And this one's going to be worth $3,000. Okay, imagine this. The year is 1419. Sir John Falstaff enters his favorite pub and wants to impress his drinking buddies by ordering a drink in verse. How might he order a drink in iambic pentameter? Excuse me, waiter, could I get a beer? Or soup, a beer, if you please. Quench, a beer, and non. Or, can I have a beer here? Too bad you didn't pick this. <laughs> Excuse me, wait a minute, I'll get a bit. <laughs> okay, pick a cat. The category behind this question is, where in the world is Billy San Diego? And this one's going to be worth $2,000. All right, listen up. The Billy character on Melrose Place decides to quit his job to develop his inner light. Amanda tells him he's become a real bohemian. Okay, now Billy's not the brightest bulb in the lamp, so he thinks she means he should go to Bohemia. Where will Billy go? France, the Czech Republic, Italy, or Greenwich Village? Go for it. The Czech Republic. And Billy probably thinks that's where he can cash his traveler's check. All right, come on, hit me. Question five. Here's the category. Ice cream and medieval pharmaceuticals. The amount on the table is three grand. Imagine, if you will, the good humor man travels back to the Middle Ages and changes his name to the four humors man. Based on medieval physiology, which is not a flavor the four humors man sells. Blood, black bile, sweat, or phlegm. You know what you could have picked? You could have picked this. Sweat. According to medieval physiology, the four humors are blood, phlegm, black bile, and yellow bile. Who's hungry now? Okay, pick a category. Ba 
Number six, it's number six, it's. This one's going to be, but I wanted to be the race car. And we are talking 1000 bucks for this question. Imagine if the founders of socialism, Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, liked to play Monopoly while no one was looking. If Karl Marx owns every single property in a game of Monopoly but no houses or hotels, for which of these four properties would Frederick Engels have to pay him the most rent? States Avenue, Mediterranean Avenue, Park Place, or Tennessee Avenue? Now, the correct answer is Park Place. It's more expensive than the other four because it's better for Engels to land on communism chess. How about it? Hit me with a category. Uh-oh. Test Nut Slick Crime Store. It's time for a Ticklish Pasco. All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Strange ways to start a conversation. The opening value is $5,000. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you got to think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Now, remember, there's no screwing on gibberish questions. Ready? Put your fingers on your buzzers and tell me, what does this rhyme with? Hi, Puntry Wiz. Go pee. Watch out, this punctuation might be tricky. It's okay, let's see if you know it. Type in your answer and hit return. Hi, Pondry Wiz, go pee. The spy virginity, it was a bling. All right, come on, hit me. We need a caddy. Yeah, man, come along to question it. Next up. You did what with that candlestick? And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. And I'm not just talking about any candlestick, I'm talking about a very small candlestick. Attention all Clue fans. Colonel Mustard said he was in four rooms the night of the murder. Which one is he lying about? The billiard room, the hall, the kitchen, or the solarium? In case you're curious about the correct answer, there is no solarium in the Clue Mansion. Okay, pick a kid. Number nine. Oh, it's do, 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 do. Number nine. The name in this category is hair. And this one's gonna be worth $1,000. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Which of the following insect dwellings inspired a woman's hairstyle? The hornet's nest, the beehive, the ant farm, or the termite mound? It's all yours. <laughs> Should have picked this. The Beehive. Remember those three foot high hairdos from the 60s? They're coming back. How about it? Hit me with the camera. The category is, I got your fairy tale right here. Okay, it shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Hey, what actually happens at the end of Aesop's fable, The Boy Who Cried Wolf? A wolf eats the boy's sheep. The boy becomes friends with a wolf. A wolf eats the boy. Oh, go. oh I'm, I'm sorry. That's incorrect, but, but it was a really bad guess. Here's what you should have guessed. A wolf eats the sheep. Okay, we're at the end of round one now. On to round two. <laughs> now pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. All right, come on, hit me. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Once, twice, three times a first lady. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Say the vice president spends a lot of his time franking when we don't see him. What is he doing? Passing gas, sending mail for free, talking to schools about the state of the nation, or referring to the president as a big frank. It's all yours. You got it. Like many government officials, the vice president is allowed to send out mail all over the place for free. And I didn't even get a Christmas card. 
Okay, pick a category. The category, hockey is not for Twinkies. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Hang on tight, because here we go. 